Alright guys, welcome back to the FIFA 22 Hearts Korea mode. We're already into Season 4. We didn't get off to the best start though. We lost to Celtic in the opening game of the season. Losing to the champions. Was it ideal? No. Was it what we wanted? No. But does that mean our season's finished? Fucking hell no. We can bounce back today. And I think we need to bounce back. I think we want to bounce back as quickly as possible. Yes, we lost our opening game. But it's important that we don't lose our second game. Our third game. I want to bounce back this episode. I want to pick up two wins. And try and keep the pressure on the teams near the top of the table. Now, we are taking on Ross County. We can't look at their league position, though. Only one game's been played. We could laugh at them and say they're shit and that they're 12th place, but they could point at us and laugh back and say we're in 10th, where we don't want to be. So, I mean, it is early, early days. League positions don't really matter at the moment. What matters is winning games and picking up three points, and that is what we intend to do here today. So, with that said, guys, let's move in. Let's take on Ross County. And not only do I want to win these two league games to get confidence, to get six points, but we also need to get confidence for the Europa Conference League qualifiers that we have coming up against Dundalk. This is our first taste of European football. It took us three seasons to qualify, third time lucky. We managed to get into Europe and we want to make sure we actually get to the group stages. We do not want to be getting sent home at the first possible stage, especially by some shite team for Ireland. So we're going to make sure that we beat Dundalk. But today, right now, it's all about the Singe Premiership and it's all about picking up the win. And here's how we line up then for our second game of the season. We're going to go with Clark and Nets as always the back three. Kingsley, Halkett and Taylor Moore. We're going to try Taylor Moore on the right-hand side of Halkett. Got Hickey on the left, O'Donnell on the right, Benjamin and Devlin in the middle, Barry McKay just in front of the aim, and up front, it has to be those two. It's Sims and Dykes. Neither could get a goal on the opening day. Hopefully, they've all been saving them for this trip to Dingwall. Ball out to Sims. He'll keep it in. Ellis Sims looking for a cross. He's trying to find Barry McKay, and McKay gets sandwiched. A Ross County sandwich. I don't think that tasted too good there. And Barry McKay back on his feet. Good to see. Ball out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Oh, he goes around his man. O'Donnell. Back to Barry McKay, who picks up this. Oh! Barry McKay, eye for goal. <laughs> End of the back of the ball. Almost ended up in the net there. I mean, you can see he has kind of mishit that a wee bit, but still, technique was good. There we go. Benjamin Sims. Barry McKay gets it to Cammy Devlin. Devlin looking for anybody. He's been pushed back here. He's getting round Watson. Cammy D crosses it in. Back post. But Benjamin's there. And he fucking doesn't he hit the target. How? How has he missed? Holds his head. Should be holding his head in fucking shame. That's an embarrassing miss there. Comes in. He just fucking whacks the ball with his big heat. Commits assault on the ball. And the ball lands in fucking Ross County's top row, man. What's that all about? Barry McKay lays it off, it's Cammy Devlin, he turns around, he's took a shot, he's found Dykes, it's still Dykes and Dykes can't get the shot away, Sims' shot is blocked, what the fuck was that man, and the goalkeeper goes to pick it up for an easy gathering, and Ross County defender hits it for a corner, that was an absolute mess, you tell me what happened there, I don't know, balls in, Dykes gets a flick on it, and it's almost our own goal, and he cracks his face off the post as well, Jesus Christ here, Ross County hanging on, mayhem inside the Ross County box, it's Dykes off the post, into the goalkeeper's hands, Laylaw grabs on to it, Ross County survive. Uh oh, uh oh, on the oh man, I think we're lucky there. How is Aaron Hickey not received a red? Um, Spittle's no happy. He is protesting. He thinks, well, I mean, yeah, no, that could have been a red card. Maybe the ref's colourblind. I don't know. That's the only thing that would explain why he's produced a yellow there and not a red. But we will take that because we've got away with one there. Callaghan whips it in. It's headed away by Sims and Ross County's free kick comes to nothing. Whoa, well, great save for Sander Clark. Fantastic save for Sander Clark. I thought Ross County had taken the lead there, but Sander Clark parried it out for the corner. Ball in, decent area, cleared away though. And there's no saving that. Ross County do take the lead here. 
they haven't really been in the game in the last couple of minutes ago, though they, they tried, they started creating stuff and they blasted that in there, it's Gutu with the strike, should Sander Clark save it, I think he should, I think he has to do better than that, he's not done better though, and it is Ross County with the lead at the half an hour mark. Ball up to Barry Mackay, Mackay brings it down, Mackay spins around, it's Barry Mackay, gets a shot away, it's not a great shot, but Laidlaw isn't able to hold on to it, so it will be a corner here again. Can we get a good delivery in, Barry Mackay looking for Dykes, he looks for Dykes, oh man, Dykes heads it right at the goalie. How the fuck is it, Ross County keeping us out here, still 1-0. Oh no, it's Spittle, he's off the post, he gets a rebound. And he hit Sander Clark in the legs. Sander Clark didn't know much about that save, but we will take it. It's an important one nonetheless. But we need to make sure that we do not go 2-0 down here, and we will not. Benjamin will get this ball. We will look to try and counter, but there's surely no time left. There ain't. It's half time. It's Ross County 1 hearts now. Here we go, O'Donnell. Stephen O'Donnell now. He's looking dangerous here. He plays it off to Devlin. Devlin to Barry Mackay. Mackay turns around, lays it off. It's Benjamin. Looks for a cross, he gets it back again, still Benjamin, looks for another cross, and that's twice now. He delivered two shite crosses in a row. And that is 2-0, and that is horrible defending fails, and that could be our second defeat of the season now. What were we doing? You tell me, Ross County are celebrating. The fans are celebrating, they all think this game's over, and it might be. Sonder Clark, can he believe it? Thinking, where the fuck is the defence? And where was it in that occasion? Absolutely nowhere. Oh no, it's through. It could be free, but Taylor Moore charges down the Ross County player. So it's still going to be a corner, though. Still dangerous. Patton now coming on for Callaghan. Oh, Benjamin, lovely. Takes that in his stride. Right, here we go now. Benjamin, can we run and potentially hit Ross County on the counter here? O'Donnell. O'Donnell to Dykes. Dykes. Dykes looking for anybody, and can we find anybody? I don't know, it's Benjamin now. This is looking decent. It's Sims. He leaves it off. It's Cammy Devlin who's shot. is blocked and ends up in laid low hands. Sims, Barry Mackay looking for the runny Sims. We might even look for Dykes. We might look for nobody. Oh, what a goal. What a, st what a strike for Barry Mackay, man. We were too busy looking for Sims. Too busy looking for Dykes. Neither of them ran into a position that we liked and we thought, you know what, well, we'll just try it ourselves and sometimes that's what you need to do. If you want the job done right, do it your fucking cell. DIY. That's what we're going to call him now. Not Baza. We're going to call him DIY McKay. And he has done it himself here. Nice wee strike. Could the keeper have done better? Who knows? Who cares? We're back in this game and it's Hearts 1. I was about to say 2. Unfortunately, it's not. It's Hearts 1, Ross County 2. Here we go, Devlin looking for Sims. He's played Sims through. Ellis Sims must get his back. Oh, no, Sims, what are you done? S fucking hell. What is this? I cannot believe that. Get him booked on a one way flight back to Liverpool. Everyone can take him back, man. He, he, can, he can stay in Merseyside. I cannot believe he has missed that. What a chance to not only get his back on level terms, but to give us 13 minutes to find a winner, and he's put that one past the post, unbelievable, Dykes, Cordero, Cordero, Devlin, Cami Devlin, still Cami Devlin, surely, oh no, it's took a deflection, oh man, right, we're going to bring on Gavi here, Devlin, I thought, was getting his back in the game. Wasn't to be. Seven minutes to go. Barry Mackay needs to find a good cross in. We've got Taylor Moore back post. He heads it towards the goal. But Ross County are there. And, oh, looks like they're going to get away with it. Two minutes to add it on time here. Unless we can get the ball back quickly. I think it's all over. We've got about 40 seconds remaining. Here we go. It's Sims. Sims lays it off to Josh Ginelli. Can Ginelli rescue us a draw? He can. Josh Ginelli gets us a draw with the last kick of the game. But even then, I'm, I'm still not that, I'm, I'm not that happy, man. It's, it's two points dropped. I'm glad we're not losing the game. It's good to get a draw and not a loss. But at the end of the day, man, I came here looking for a win. Looking for an easy one at that. And uh, it hasn't been the case. But no, nah, good strike there for Ginelli. He does rescue the point. 
Still not good enough for us. We should have got all three points here. We should have won this game. But uh, at least we can say, and look at that, even a bit lucky there. I said it was a good strike. I take that back. It was kind of hit straight at Laidlaw. Laidlaw got fingertips on it, but he should have he should have done more there. Um, yeah, no, Ginelli should have done more with the shot. Laidlaw should have done more with the save, but it's 2-2. We haven't lost. I will take it, but it's not what we wanted at all. We came here looking for a win. We didn't get it. I think we deserved it, I'll be honest. I do think we deserved it. 16 shots to their 6. I thought we were the better team. But when you go 2-0 down, when you can get a 2-2 draw, you know what? It's, it's not the end of the world. Speaking of 2-2, our rivals Hibs, they just settled there for a 2-2 draw against Dundee as well. So looks like both Edinburgh clubs are kind of struggling to start the season. Two games in, both have one point each. Uh, yeah, it's not been great for us, but who knows? It's still early days. We can still uh, salvage this start to the season. By no means are we ready to panic, but we are playing Livingston next, and I totally expect to beat Livingston and try and get our first win on the board. So that's what we'll be trying to do up next. All right, then, here we go. Here's the lineup for the next game, a game that we must win. We're back at home. We're taking on Livingston. We're going with Clark and Nets again. Moore, Halkett, and this time Lorenz over Kingsley. O'Donnell will be on the right wing back, and Kingsley will be taking over from Aaron Hickey. We've got Cardero coming in to replace Benenjami in the midfield. We've got Devlin, Mackay, and Dykes, as always, in there. But we've got Ginelli coming in, and he's going to play it up front in this game. He'll be taking over for Sims, who isn't 100% fully fit. We've still got that massive Europa League game up next, so I thought, you know what, I would rather rest Sims for that. And uh, yeah, guys, that is it. Let's go. Hopefully we can get our first win of the season, start climbing up the league table, and get a bit of momentum going before the big European game. Good ball out to Kingsley. He will keep this in. Stephen Kingsley looking for Dykes. But unfortunately, it's Parker he finds. Parker comes out, collects the ball. Ginelli. Out to Dykes. It's a bit over hit, but Dykes will keep it in. Dykes with a nice shimmy. He forces a shot at the goalie. And Parker just about makes a save, then punts it away. Hanging on here. Nice one, too, between Cardero and Cami Devlin. Devlin then opening up a shot. Then it will be a corner kick there. Shot was blocked. Devlin, can he believe it? But believe it. We've got another chance here by Mackay. What's one in? Halkett heads it. And it is cleared away again by Livingston. Ball it to O'Donnell. It's Cordero. Oh, that's a diving save for Parker. I don't know if that shot was going in or not, but Parker made sure it didn't he? Ball in again, headed away, it's going to fall for Ginelli this time. Ginelli strikes it, follies it, Parker grabs it and follies it up the field here. Parker facing a lot here in the opening 26 minutes. There we go, Cordero strikes it, saved by Parker again. Who is this Parker kid, man? Because he's fucking pulling out all the stops here. Again, another ball in towards Dykes, headed away once more. Cordero flicks it down, Craig Halkett tries to bring it down and shoot, but... It was blocked. Good tackle by Taylor Moore. Hart's now on the attack again, but it's a poor pass. Taylor Moore could put his team in danger here. And it is Omenga. It's a chance here, but it's a save by Sander Clark. Sander Clark, when you need him the most, he pops up there. He does the, he does the business. Now it's Ginelli. Can we do the business going forward? Ginelli looking for Cordero. He's found him. Brilliant. Cordero! And it's another... Fucking save for Parker, man. And there's us on the sidelines. We can't even believe it. My guy looking for the cross and Taylor Moore was trying to get to it first. He didn't. It's O'Donnell. 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 I don't know where O'Donnell was trying to go there, but he ran into no man's land. A.K.A. a Liverpool. A, Le a Livingston defender. I'm glad we're not playing Liverpool. You'd think we're playing Liverpool. How hard it is to break them down. Cammy Devlin now. Oh my god, what a strike. Crossbar inbound. It denies us a goal. We've managed to keep it in though. It's falling for Devlin again. Can Devlin take another shot for distance? He can. This one though, nowhere near as good as the last one. And it probably lands outside uh, the stadium there, man. That's horrendous for Cammy D. They go half time then. We are in control in terms of shots. We've dominated the chances, but. Won't put any in the back of the net. That's going to have to change in the next 45 minutes. Or else they'll be wanting me out. I'll be Son of Scotland out all over again. And I'm sick of hearing that, man. This is supposed to be our season. We're going to have a good season. 
But we need to beat Livingston. It's in early days, but come on, we cannot afford to go three wins without a win. Or three games without a win, even. Kingsley, Devlin. Back to Kingsley. It's a great bad play. Kingsley back post. Dykes is there. He heads it. Oh, and it goes wide. It will be a corner, though. It must have took a deflection off somebody. It's going to be McKay. What's the one in? Dykes is looking for it again. It's cleared away once more. Ginelli this time. Ginelli left foot. Strike. What a goal. What a strike. What a shot. And Ginelli puts Hearts 1-0 up. Goalie didn't they know much about it. He gets swarmed by his Hearts teammates. They're all celebrating him. It's a goal we needed. It's an early goal in the second half. Hopefully now that can relieve some pressure. And we can play some of our free-flowing football. We have been playing good, but the pressure was beginning to build. The longer the game went without us getting the goal. But Ginelli has given us it now. Could the keeper again? Maybe done slightly better. It's not right in the corner there, but it is a powerful shot. So, Parker. Can't really criticise the guy. He's been good all game. He's not saved that. I'm glad he's not saved it. And Ginelli. That is now back-to-back -back goals for him. And he's having a pretty decent start to the season. But hopefully we can hold on to this win. If not, hold on. Try and increase it. And that's it. It's just like that. Livingston with the equaliser. It's a mistake at the back for us, and we've just gifted them a way back into this game. It's Alan Forrest with the goal, and we have no one to blame there but ourselves. Fucking horrendous. The big giant there, the big German, getting caught on possession of the ball. And, uh, yeah, and nah, after us working so hard to get in front, to concede a goal like that, doesn't sit well with me, man. Ball at the Kingsley. Kingsley turns around. Kingsley looking for Cami D again. Cammy Devlin, he can see the space. Cammy Devlin tries to put it in the corner, but Parker doing what he does best, and that seems to be saving heart shots. Now it's Barry McKay again, another delivery in, looking for Dykes. Dykes gets ahead on it, but Moore gets ahead on it, and Parker once again gets both hands on it. Unreal. It's Ginelli. Can he get another goal? It's shot blocked once more, and it will fall for Parker, who clears it. For Barry McKay. Can Barry McKay plays it to Cammy D. D. Looking for Jin, uh, looking for Kingsley. Kingsley finds Cammy Devlin again. Devlin, what a strike! He's put it in, and Parker is not happy. Uh, I feel a bit sorry for him. He's been good today, but for the second time he finds his side losing. I don't know if there's a lot he could have done about that. Cammy Devlin has literally just smashed the ball as hard as he can, and uh, it's it's found its way past the goalkeeper. I uh, don't think he would have done anything. I mean, it's pinpointed right into the top of the net as well. So, accuracy on point there for Kami D. And it's Hearts 2, Livingston 1. Here we go, Kami Devlin. Devlin. Over to Ginelli to finish it. And it's a little save by Barker. Ah, oh, man. Ginelli, I think, should score there. We're going to bring on Andy Irvine. But we're still 2-1. Livingston's still in this thing. We need to try and find another goal. It's going to be Ginelli, edge of the box. Ginelli looking for the top corner. And it's just too high as it rises over the bar. Ball played up to Devlin. Are we in trouble here? Hope, let's hope not. Hulk, it just slides in. And then it is Moore that slides in. We're giving Livingston no time here on the ball. Closing them down at every opportunity. So ball whipped in. It will fall for Kingsley, who comes away with it. Plays it off to Ginelli. Now Ginelli... With his pace. May just go out wide here. And he may just take us into the corner flag. Or he may not. He may go for goal. Because the space has opened up. And Ginelli can finally finish this. And he does. He puts it past Parker. Parker drops to his knees. And Ginelli has squeezed all the life right out of them. Right there. It's Hearts 3. Livingston 1. And I think we can finally confirm that we are going to win this game. Even if we do some shit at the back. We've got that... We've got that comfort lead now, you know. We've got that extra money in the bank for goal as insurance. So, yep, good stuff there. Another decent strike for Ginelli. And what a season he's having, man. That's his third goal now. And he has been on great form. It's going to be hard to drop him, man. He's I'm actually going to have to maybe consider putting him into the start of living going forward. Barry McKay then to Lorenz. Lorenz out to Stevie O'Donnell. I don't think he's going to get that. He's not. Ginelli, it's Ginelli now looking for the hat trick perhaps. He's got Dykes with him though. Ginelli on his own. Looks for the hat trick and Parker pulls off another stop. I think the Livingston team have let Parker down the day. They've left him for dry. 
Again, ball headed away. It's going to be flicked on towards the German giant who shoots. It's punt it once more. Can we get this back forward? Lorenz gets it. But that is it, guys. Referee blows full to whistle. It will finish here. Hearts free. Lowings in one. And we will collect our first three points of the season with this victory. So lovely stuff. 24 shots to their five. Overall, we massively deserve to win. And I'm glad that we get our first W of the season. So that win then sees us move up into fourth place, which is pretty good. But what ain't good is the fact that we're already five points behind the top three teams. Rangers, Celtic and Aberdeen all have 100% winning records. How much longer will that last? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But uh, it is early days, but I, I do think we needed that win there. So I'm glad we've got it, and I'm glad we've got our first victory under our belts, and hopefully we can kick on. You look further down the league, and look at that, Hibernian really, really struggling there, down in 11th place. And then we all know how shite Mullerwell are, so no surprise to see them in 12th. But now we move on, guys. That will be our first taste of European action in the next episode. I cannot wait. We are travelling to Ireland, and we're taking on Dundalk. And it should be a pretty good game. I'm hoping that we've got too much for them. I'm hoping that we can finish the tie in the first round. But as we've seen in real life, as Mullerwell have shown us, nothing's guaranteed. And uh, even Scottish teams can be pretty shite. And as shite as Irish teams are, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not, I'm not going to underestimate them. I think we'll win. I think we'll win comfortably. But I'm going to go out and I'm going to treat Dundalk as if they're just another Celtic or another Rangers going to play my best and hopefully on the night my best is enough but anyway guys that's quite it that will be in the next episode looking forward to it how will we do in our first taste of european action will we succeed or will we fail miserably hopefully we'll succeed but sometimes you never know guys you never know the only way to know is to tune in so hopefully you tune into the next episode looking forward to it carry wait man i'm buzzing absolutely buzzing but until then been Scotland 90 catch you in the next one peace